What is a wick fill in Forex trading? Well, that is what you're going to learn in this video. Wicks get filled when there is volume in the market. If it's a ranging market and there's not much volume and there's not much momentum, then the wicks are less likely to get filled. Higher time frame wicks are filled by smaller time frame candle structure. Now I'm going to show you an example of this in a minute and you'll be able to understand what I'm saying. Okay, so let's draw out our candles, right? We have a bullish candle here and we have a bearish candle here. So as we know, with a bullish candle, this top wick here is our range wick because it is the range where the next candle can fill it. It's most likely to go up and fill this wick. So on a bullish candle, the top wick is our range wick. The bottom wick on a bullish candle is the liquidity wick because price has gone down, grabbed liquidity, and then gone back up. So the bottom wick is liquidity, the top wick is range. And it's the opposite on the bearish candle. The bearish candle has a liquidity wick up here because it's gone up, grabbed liquidity, and then it's pushed in back down. And the bottom wick here is the range wick because it's the range which the next candle could fill. Okay, so let's take a look at a higher time frame wick fill. Let's say you have a bullish candle like this on the four hour time frame. What would this candle look like in the one hour time frame? It could look something like this on the one hour time frame. So here you have the open of this candle. And here is also the open, but this is the one hour time frame. As you can see, price has gone down, created this bottom wick here, the liquidity wick for the four hour candle. Then it's gone up with these next few candles. And up here, it's created this top wick, which is this top wick here. This is the range wick now because it's on the top of the bullish candle, it's the range. So if there was volume in the market, you would expect this next four hour candle to open here, maybe create a bottom wick first, and then push up and fill this wick. And it would look something like this. We're filling this wick here. Now what would this look like on the one hour time frame? Well, you've got this bearish candle here, and this bearish candle here. So this next candle would open here, it would push down, to create the bottom wick here. Then maybe the next candle is a small bullish candle. And then the next one looks like this. And then the final one looks like this. And you see we have filled this wick here, this range wick. So this is how a wick fill works. You see the wicks get filled on the higher time frames, like the four hour time frame here, but you actually enter on the trade based on the smaller time frames here, like the one hour, because it's a lot easier to see the confirmations for the trade on a smaller time frame, as there will be more candles more frequently. You can see wick fills like this on any time frame from the 30 minute all the way up to the daily. And these wick fills happen quite a lot. But how would you actually trade this wick fill in this setup? Okay, so we can see that we are trending bullish at this point. We're creating a higher high, which is this area here and then a higher low, which is this area here. So we know we're in a bullish trend. And once we see this higher low here get created, the support level, and we can take a buy as this candle here is breaking the high of this candle. So your buy would look something like that. You would have your take profit or your partial take profit at this wick fill, expecting price to fill the wick and push up. And because you've got this higher low here, this support level, you can put your stop loss below the support level. So on the higher time frame, it would look something like this. You would have your stop loss here below the support. You would have your entry somewhere there and your take profit would be up here. That is what it would look like on the higher time frame. But your trade would be based off of this lower time frame here, this one hour time frame. Now let's take a look at an example of a bearish wick fill. Okay, so this is our example of a bearish wick fill. Over here, you can see the four hour bearish candle. And here it is broken up into the four one hour candles. So as you can see, we open at this level here, we push up to create the top wick. And then price comes down, creates the bottom wick here and here. And then we've gone up and we've closed at this level here. So now we can expect the next four hour candle to open here to create a top wick, and then push down and fill this wick. But what would this look like on the one hour time frame? Well, we need to go up first, create our top wick like this, and then price needs to move back down to fill that bearish wick. So it would look something like this. 
So this is what it could look like. As you can see, we've gone up, created the top wick here, and then price has pushed all the way back down to fill this wick over here. Now you would trade this in a very similar way to the bullish trade that we saw a minute ago. In downtrends, we create lower lows and lower highs. So here we've created a lower low and up here we've created a lower high. So we know we're in a downtrend because of that and you would want to take a sell in a downtrend, anticipating that this wick will get filled. So you see price create this lower high and then you wait for this candle here to break this wick here and you would take your sell after that. So your trade would look something like this. Entry here as this wick is being broken and then it's up to you but your stop loss could go above the current one hour candle or if you wanted to play it way more safe you could have it all the way up here above the resistance. But let's just say you keep your stop loss here and then your take profit will be down here at the wick fill level. Now you don't have to take 100% of the profits at the wick fill I would recommend you take about 60-70% of the profit at the wick fill, bring your stop loss to break even, and then let the rest of the trade carry on running. Because we are in a downtrend, and there's no reason that price can't break this wick and continue moving. So that is what a wick fill is and how you trade it. Make sure you look out for these in the market as they are quite common, and you'll probably see them very often. So look out for these opportunities and try and capitalize on them. Make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.